going on guys my name is quibble hope you all have a wonderful day so far today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a diy screen inside your pc it's pretty easy not a lot of work um and you can get creative where you mount it so i'm going to show you guys real quick hopefully this video isn't too long on how to do this screen so without further ado let's get right into the video all right what's going on everybody <clears throat> excuse me uh today i'm just doing the the screen video a lot of people requested it so uh, here i am i'm doing it right now i have an ssd in the way as you can see right there uh just taking everything apart right now kind of getting it removed if you don't have an ssd in the spot where you're going to mount on the screen you obviously don't have to do this so um yeah just ignore this if you don't have one just cleaning it up a little bit so yeah moving it back we've got all the parts we've got the display here we have two 90 degree HDMI adapters, two uh, one 90 degree micro USB, a micro USB cable, and an HDMI cable. So I just found the cheapest parts I could on Amazon. Um, I'll leave the links down to everything I have in the description, ex apart from the micro USB because I just found that in like my junk drawer. Um, I had that on hand, but you can probably find a really cheap one on Amazon. So, so right here is an interesting part. You can see I kind of. Um, handed out the gpio ports this was a raspberry pi display but i bought it for this obviously you can see that the hdmi port kind of sticks out a little bit it's taller than the uh the actual display itself so i'm going to be putting two layers of tape on it to offset the um the hdmi port so that way it actually sticks because if i just put one layer of uh tape on it it wouldn't stick because the hdmi would be like the hdmi would be uh blocking it hard to explain like um I tried to do I tried to show you like a good representation like you see like the tape is not quite as tall but it ended up working in the end so I can't really complain uh, I don't I'm I hope this tape is not conductive I mean the screen is still working right now I'm recording this after the fact so the screen's still working wish me luck hopefully it's not it's not conductive so you want to make sure that you place the HDMI port and the micro USB in the right position um, right meaning literal and physical um, I don't know if that made sense uh, put it in a spot to where you can manage it. Don't put it like like my side. You see like the 24 pins right there. Don't put it on the left side. That'd be stupid. Um, so here's the 90 degree HDMI adapter. Wow, my camera focused really good right there. So yeah. What I do here is I just plug it in real quick. The micro USB kind of sticks out a little bit. I, I wasn't happy about that. <clears throat> I... I <laughs> Maybe I could have sanded it down. Maybe it would have been a little bit shorter. But look how much it sticks out. That's actually that's fully plugged in right there. So right here, I just cable route stuff. You guys probably don't want to see this, so I'll just skip through that. Uh, taking off the protective layer of tape. I'm getting ready to stick it right here. So the whole reason why I wanted to do this is because a lot of people were mistaking that SSD that I took off as a screen. And I'm like, dude, it's not a screen. It's just an SSD and people kept on calling it a screen. So I just said, well, screw it. I'm just going to put an actual screen in it for 50 bucks and make a video about it to show you guys because it's not that hard and it's pretty cheap. So as I uh, stick it down there, it is off centered in the video. I, I realized that I, I fixed it after the video, but oh, well, D don't worry about me touching it. It has a protective film on it. Wow. The camera looks really good right now. But anyway, I'm just cable managing here, just kind of like routing stuff. Not really cable managing just yet because I want to make sure everything works. Um, I can't stress that enough, guys. Don't cable manage anything and don't make anything permanent until you know everything works. Seriously. Yeah, I had to put my GPU back in. I broke my PCIe lock on my motherboard for the GPU, so I had to prop it up like a little toolkit and a, um, a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> it was funny. If you want to check out this mechanical screwdriver this electric screwdriver it's called a wow stick 1f plus i think so i will leave a link down in the description for that um you guys remember how we had two 90 degree hdmi adapters well we used one already on the screen now here comes the second one as you can see it kind of like bulges out the actual hdmi uh cable it bulges out a little bit so i decided to get another one and plug it into this because it looks a lot better. I, I, I figured it'd look a lot better because it's 90 degree. It, it's it's flatter. So, and it ended up looking a lot better. So, I'm happy about that. Yeah, I know the white the white micro USB cable um, kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. I might get a black one in the future. I mean, you guys can use a black one if you want. It doesn't matter. Color is a color. It really doesn't matter. 
cable manage a little bit. I know I tested everything. It works already. Excuse my cable management. I had to fit a lot of stuff in here in a, such a small case, but the side panel fits on. There's really no bulging, so I consider that a success. Screen's still there. Didn't come off. I mean, it already looks good like that. I mean, the SSD on the bottom looks a little bit out of proportion, but oh well. Keep the fake RTX sticker. And I'm going to turn it on right here. Should automatically detect the signal. You could, you might be, you might could, uh, if you have a 3D printer, you could put 3D print like a case to fit around it, like wrap it in carbon fiber or something. Um, oh, here's a sweet ASMR. Oh, dude, it never gets old. And here I just show a, a bunch of uh, things. I'm using wallpaper engine. I'm pretty sure I say that in the end too. So uh, ignore I said it right there then. Cycling through. This is a 1080p display, but I have it on 720p right now. So because the pixel density is very off. So yeah, that's about it for me. I'll uh, I'll throw it back to future me. Well, past me actually, because this is a, a past recording. Um, but yeah, guys, I encourage you all to do this. It's, it was really fun, really cheap, only 50 bucks. And you can get creative where you mount it and send me a picture on uh, Twitter. I say all this in the end, but okay, just ignore I said all that right now. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'll kick it back to past me, and y'all have a great day. Well, now that you guys seen how easy it is, I encourage all of you to do this at home. You really don't have to if you, if you don't want to, but I encourage you all to do it because it looks amazing. The end result is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. All you DIYers, you're, you're probably gonna do this. I love all you DIYers out there, so. I essentially saved all you guys like thir like three uh, two hundred and seventy dollars because of the the Kraken Z cool the NZXT Kraken Z coolers. They are like three hundred dollars in their CPU coolers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like a little circle CPU cooler with a screen in the middle, and it's three hundred dollars from NZXT. Uh, terribly expensive. I got this screen for I think twenty seven dollars. I think I it might be even cheaper. Um, you guys will see in the title how cheap this really was so anybody curious I am using wallpaper engine for all this stuff uh, you can use whatever you really want to you could just use it as a normal monitor and then just drag like something like NZXT cam if you have it or hardware monitor pro you can drag all that stuff on there I mean what the? you can you can use anything on it we got Gandalf here kind of dark but anyway Blanc a nor anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed the video one downside to having this screen is there's no sleep timer on it so whenever you turn off your computer you have to unplug the USB power uh, I guess if you really want to if you don't want to, have to do that you can turn off ERP or you can turn on ERP in your BIOS uh, that basically shuts off all USB power and like it just shuts down all the power on the PC. But that would drive your CMOS battery. That would drain your CMOS battery really, really fast because it it's having to keep your BIOS settings and keep your uh, your system clock up all the time whenever it's off. So yeah, whenever you have ERP off. You, there's still a little bit of power going through your motherboard to keep like the clock and the date and your bio settings right um, That's why you have a CMOS because if you lose if you lose complete power like if it unplugs from the wall or something you uh, You still have the CMOS to keep that those settings So anyway, this one's pretty cool. Actually. I like that one. It's pretty clean minimalistic Or you can go with something like a dog licking the screen like the possibility is endless. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do do this, be sure to tweet at me at Jacob Biceps. That, that's Jacob Biceps, one word, one B in the middle. Um, I, it'll be up in whichever corner. I don't really know what, what corner. I think it'll be in this corner. So, this corner. 
So I, um, I encourage you all to do this because it's super cheap, like I said. And yeah, I'm curious to see where you guys mount, mount it, mount the screen. I seen one guy, he cut out right here a, a five inch display. This is a three inch display, a three inch 1080p display. Can you believe it's 1080p? I know it's, um, it's hard to believe. The pixel density is a little bit weird. It's at 720p right now, and I can barely even read the time and date on the taskbar. Um, so you might want to lower the resolution to make it look a little bit better. Um, so yeah, it's actually 720 by 1280 right now, not 1280 by 720, because it's in portrait mode, obviously. So that's about it. I had to move this SSD down there. You guys saw that. Um, the, all, the whole reason why I wanted to do this is because people mistake, mistook, mistaken, mistake, what, what the word am I looking for? People mistaken this, people were mistaken this SSD as a little like LCD display. So I was like, dude, it's, it's not a display. It's just an SSD. If anybody wondering, this is a T-Force Delta Max RGB SSD. I have the box for support somewhere. Um, I don't know where it is. I'll leave a link down to it in the description if you want it. I, I, I think it's a 250 gig or my, it might be a 500 gig. I don't know. These, this is a 250. That's a 500 or maybe vice versa. I have one of each. So these are the, the previous generations. This is the new gen. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, tweet at me if you guys do do this. Like I said before, you're going to have to unplug it whenever you turn off your computer. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate it right now. I'll just turn it off. Uh, the outer monitors go blank. And whenever it actually shuts down, watch. It'll shut down here in a second. It'll go to a blue screen. And it'll just say no signal. Like that. And you're just going to have to unplug it. Like that. So you could probably avoid that by just turning off ERP or turning on ERP. I can't, I can't speak turning on ERP and that would, that would essentially stop it. That would take off all USB power, but I don't encourage turning on ERP because of course it does run your CMOS battery down a lot fast. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one make sure to subscribe turn on notifications and yeah i know i don't upload that often or in, it's random whenever i do so i hope you all subscribe turn on notifications because you'll know whenever i post a video like this anyway guys i'll see you on the next video i hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo. Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow. But well, hello, I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some portobello.